Introduction. Christ speak. These 14 steps that you are now about to walk, you do not take alone. I walk with you. Though you are you and I am I, yet we are truly one Christ. And therefore, my way of the cross 2,000 years ago and your way now are also one. But note this difference. My life was incomplete until I crowned it by my death. Your 14 steps will only be complete when you have crowned them by your life. Jesus is condemned. Christ speaks. In Pilate's hands, my other self, I see my Father's will. Though Pilate is unjust, he has earthly power over me. And so the Son of God obeys. If I can bow to my Father's will, can you also submit, even in the face of injustice? My Jesus, Jesus Lord, Lord, obedient cost you your, your life. life. For, For me, it, it cost an act of will, no, no more. more. And yet, how hard it is for me to bend. Remove the blinded from my eyes, that I may see that it is you alone whom I obey. Lord, it is you. Station two, Jesus takes his cross. Christ speaks. This cross, this chunk of tree, is what my Father chose for me. The crosses you must bear are largely products of your daily life, and yet my Father chose them too for you. Receive them from his hands. Take heart, my other self. I will not let your burdens grow one ounce too heavy for your strength. My Jesus, Jesus Lord, Lord, I take, take my daily, daily cross. I welcome the monotony that often marks my day. Because it comforts of all kinds, the summer's heat, the winter's cold, my disappointments, tensions, setbacks, cares, remind me often that in carrying my cross, I carry yours with you. And though I bear a sliver only of your cross, you carry all of mine, except the sliver in return. Station three, Jesus falls. Christ speaks. The God who made the universe and holds it in existence by his will alone becomes a man, too weak to bear a piece of timber's weight. How human in his weakness is the Son of God. My Father willed it thus. I could not be your model otherwise. If you would be my other self, you also must accept without complaint your human frailties. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus how can I refuse? I willingly accept my weaknesses, my irritations and my moods, my, my headaches and fatigue, all my defects of body, mind, and soul, because they are your will for me, these handicaps of my humanity. I gladly accept them. Make me content with all my discontents, but give me strength to struggle after you. Station four, Jesus meets his mother. Christ speaks. My mother sees me whipped. She sees me kicked and driven like a beast. She counts my every wound. But though her soul cries out in agony, no protest or complaint escapes her lips or even enters her thoughts. She shares my martyrdom and I share hers. We hide no pain, no sorrow from each other's eyes. This is my Father's will. My, my Jesus, Jesus Lord, Lord, I know, I know what, what you are telling, telling me. me. To watch the pain of those we love is harder than to bear our own. To carry my cross after you 
I too must stand and watch the sufferings of my dear ones, the heartache, sickness, and grief of those I love. And I must let them watch mine too. I do believe for those who love you, all things work together unto good. Station 5, Simon helps Jesus. Christ speaks. My strength is gone. I can no longer bear the cross alone. And so the legionnaires make Simon give me aid. This Simon is like you, my other self. Give me your strength. Each time you lift some burden from another's back, you lift us with your very own hand. The cross awful weight that crushes me. Lord, Lord make me realize that every time, time I wipe a dish, pick up an object off the floor, assist a child in some small task, or, or give another preference in traffic or the store, each time I feel the hungry, clothe the naked, teach the ignorant, or lend my hand anyway, it matters not to him, my name is Simon, and the kindness I extend to them, I really give to you. Station 6. Veronica helps Jesus. Christ speaks. Can you be brave enough, my other self, to wipe my bloody face? Where is my face, you ask? At home, whenever eyes fill up with tears, at work when tensions rise, on playgrounds, in the slums, the courts, the hospitals, the jails, Wherever suffering exists, my face is there. And there I look for you to wipe away my blood and tears. Lord, Lord what you ask is hard. It calls, calls for courage and self-sacrifice. And, and I am weak. Please give me strength. strength. Don't, Don't let me run away because of fear. Lord, live in me and act, act in me and love in me. And love and not in me alone, in all of us, so, so that we may reveal no more your bloody but your glorious face on earth. Station 7. Jesus falls again. Christ speaks. This seventh step, my other self, is one that tests your will. From this fall, learn to persevere in doing good. The time will come when all your efforts seem to fail and you will think, I can't go on. Then turn to me, my heavy laden one, and I will give you rest. Trust me and carry on. Give me your courage, Lord, when failure presses heavily on me and I am desperate. Stretch out your hand to lift me up. I know I must not cease, but persevere in doing good. But help me, Lord. Alone there's nothing I can do. With you, I can do anything you ask. I will. Station 8. Jesus consoles the women. Christ speaks. How often had I longed to take the children of Jerusalem and gather them to me, but they refused. But now these women weep for me, and my heart mourns for them, mourns for their sorrow that will come. I comfort those who seek to solace me. How gentle can you be, my other self? How kind. I remember Jesus, your compassion and your passion is beyond compare. Lord, teach me, help me learn. When I would snap at those who hurt me with their ridicule, those who misunderstand or hinder me in some misguided helpfulness, those who intrude upon my privacy, then help me curb my tongue. My gentleness becomes my cloak. Lord, make me kind like you. Station 9, the third fall. Christ speaks. Completely drained of strength, I lie, collapsed, upon the cobblestones. My body cannot move. No blows, no kicks can roust it up. 
and yet my will is mine, and so is yours. Know this, my other self. Your body may be broken, but no force on earth and none in hell can take away your will. Your will is yours. My, my Lord, Lord, I, I see you take, take a moment's rest, then rise and, and stagger on, on. So, so I can do because, because my will is mine. When all my strength is gone, and, is gone, and, and guilt and self-reproach press me to earth and seek to hold me fast, protect me from the sin of Judas, save me from despair. Lord, never let me feel that any sin of mine is greater than your love. No matter what my past has been, I can be in you. Jesus is stripped. Christ speaks. Behold, my other self, the poorest king who has ever lived. Before my creatures I stand stripped, the cross, my deathbed, even this is not my own. Yet who has ever been so rich? Possessing nothing, I own all, my Father's love. If you too would own everything, be not solicitous about your food, your clothes, your life. My Lord, I offer you my all, whatever, whatever I possess and more myself. myself. Detach me from, from the cravings for prestige, position, wealth. Reality traces in the ear of my neighbor, who has more than I. Release me from the vice of pride, my longing to exalt myself, and lead me to the lowest place. May I be poor in spirit, Lord. So, so that, that I can be rich to you. Station 11. Jesus is crucified. Christ speaks. Can you imagine what a crucifixion is? My executioners stretch my arms. They hold my hand and wrist against the wood and press the nail until it stabs my flesh. Then, with one heavy hammer smash, they drive it through, and pain bursts like a bomb of fire in my brain. They seize the other arm, and agony again explodes. Then, raising up my knees so that my feet are flat against the wood, they hammer them fast, too. My God, 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 I look at you and think, is, is my soul worth that much? much? What, what can I give you in return? return? I hear and now accept for all my life, whatever sickness, torment, agony may come, that every cross I touch my lips, O oh, blessed cross that lets me be with you, a co-redeemer of humanity. Station 12. Jesus dies, Christ speaks. The cross becomes a pulpit now. Forgive them, Father. You will be with me in paradise. There is your mother. There, your son. I thirst. It is complete. To speak, I have to raise myself by pressing on my wrists and feet and every move engulfs me in new ways of agony. And then, when I have borne enough, have emptied my humanity, I let my mortal life depart. My, my Jesus God, God, what can, can I say or do? do? I offer you my death with all its pains, accepting now the time and kind of death in store for me. Not by a single instant will I leave in my life span. I offer you my death for my own sins and for those of all humanity. My God, my God, for sake of God, we know not what we do. Revelation 13. Jesus is taken down. Christ speaks. The sacrifice is done. Yes, my mass complete but not my mother's, and not yours, my other self. My mother still must cradle in her arms the lifeless body of the son she bore. 
You too must part from those you love, and grief will come to you. In your bereavements, think of this. A multitude of souls were saved by Mary's sharing in thy Calvary. Your grief can also be the price of souls. I, I beg you, Lord, help me accept, accept the, the parting that, that must come from friends who go away, my children leaving home, and most of all, my dear ones, when you shall call them to yourself. Then give me my grace today, as it has pleased you, Lord, to take them home. I bow to your most holy will, and if it is just one word, I might restore their lives against your will. I would not speak. Grant them eternal joy. Station 14. Jesus is buried. Christ speaks. So end my mortal life. But now another life begins for Mary and for Magdalene, for Peter and for John and you. My life's work is done. My work within and through my church must now commence. I look to you, my other self, day in, day out, from this time forth. Be my apostle, victim, saint. My, my Jesus, Lord, Lord, you know my, my spirit, spirit is well and, and my flesh is weak. The, the teachings you could not impart, the suffering you could not bear, the works of love you could not do in your short life on earth. Let me impart and bear and do through you. But I am nothing, Lord. Help me. I told you at the start, my other self, my life would not complete until I crowned it by my death. Your way is not complete unless you crown it by your life. Accept each moment as it comes to you with faith and trust that all that happens has my mark on it, a simple fiat. This is all it takes a breathing in your heart. I will it, Lord. So seek me not in far off places. I am close at hand. Your workbench, office, kitchen. These are altars where you offer love. And I am with you there. Go now. Take up your cross. And with your life, complete your way. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your loving kindness. In your great compassion, blot out my offenses. Wash me through and through from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you only I have sinned and done what is evil in your sight. And so you are justified when you speak, and upright in your judgment. Indeed, I have been wicked from my birth, a sinner from my mother's womb. For behold, you look for truth deep within me, and will make me understand wisdom secretly. Purge me from my sin, and I shall be pure. Wash me, and I shall be clean indeed. Make me hear of joy and gladness, that the body you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, 